Are you a are you an iPod or a Walkman person? Uh, both of you. Do you listen to a lot of music uh, portably? Where I live, they steal them out of my bags all the time, or I lose them. So I'm still a kind of CD person. At least there's a physicality to it, and I think that's the that is also an aspect of some things that people talk about of, about film, and and um, and what Wong Kar-wai is going to talk about probably about his relationship with his his children's appreciation of music. I think um, we are in a transitional period that. Um, the aspects of, of, of the possibilities and our intentions and what you know that we don't know is why we're here today. I think that the, the interface really is very basic to the progression of whether well, it's music relationship to film and how um, film relates to music or how we relate to technology. It's very basic to the, the, the present discussion of where films go from here or where any visual media or any oral media goes from here. Good. So my, my uh, I'm more like an accidental listener because uh, I, I collect CDs, I still like CDs, but most of the time I get the music while I'm, I'm traveling. What I'm doing is because there's music around us all the time. You can listen to a piece of music in, in the restaurants and then in a bar and then in a taxi or in a car. So sometimes I just notice some music and, and then I will ask people, what is this? What, which music are you playing? Like, uh, one of the reasons that, uh, because for me, music has uh, 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 different meanings. What works for me, that music has to be visual. That means it inspires image. So this is also my experience. The reasons I want to work with Norgans, because a few years ago I was in Taipei and I, I was trapped in traffic and I didn't just heard so her music was playing in the taxi. So I think, well, I have some visual, and I, I have some image of it. And a few years ago, when I was here in on the 52nd Street, I went to Risoli, and uh, and and there's a book that bookstores, and then I, I I hear music which is which is very familiar. I know this from Morricone, but the arrangement and the cello is different. So I find it out it's your Ma. So so it gives me a picture. So I want to work with them on on Ashes of Time. So sometimes it's like uh, it's really accidental because I we also understand like uh, later on I can demonstrate because sometimes when when we are living in in in, in, in a world like this uh, when uh, music is very popular you can hear it everywhere and it become a reference of time. I still remember it's like a few years ago um, there's a, there's a song from like them. It's uh, Taylor Swift. It's very very popular. And so we, we can listen to that song in, in Hong Kong in the restaurants and, and then a few weeks later when I was in Tokyo, we can hear that music. So this music has be become a reference of time. So sometimes we use it as not as, as to enhance the emotions of the film, but also it can serve as a reference of time. All right, just one more point on that. Uh, from the clips we saw, uh, you go from, from Norma to a Yaz song. It was like a week of, I guess, almost 100 years of popular music culture. And you probably don't ever need to explain to anyone why you would pick something from the Western opera canon. But why did you pick the Yaz song, Only You? If, you know, although it's not performed by Yaz on the sound. No, no, no. It's five pictures. And uh, I, I somehow this song's just like uh, I, I, I I catch this song somewhere and I just keep it in my mind and I think this is a very visual because I know that song and but I, I like this version and I like this arrangement. Hold on, but in the history of especially the history of, of all arts, not just Western but also Eastern, the uh, idea of synchronicity of, of an image has a color, an idea, a word has uh, this is extremely basic to all cultures. So I think the the only difference is is it resonant to others? Is when when we say uh, uh, the word sharp is blue, or when a, a text that, that 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 we share as as as, as filmmakers suggests warmth, or well, all those things are resonance, are musical resonances. It's 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 a synchronicity between idea and image, 
uh, for word and, and, and sound. And it, this is the basic thing of, of, of artistic practice, is to, to get to that space where you do think in images, where you do hear sounds when you, when you hear a word, where you do res you have a color when you hear music. This is, this is what it's all about, I believe. Um, I'm not there yet. I still can't go to a gym and actually work out because the music really fucks me up. <laughs> but, so maybe I, you know, maybe some people hear other sounds. And I think this is if our sounds and our our, our resolution of the correspondence between sound and image, between idea and and word, between structure and 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 and, and repetition, all those things that are musical um, stru uh, strictures or or, or or a basic to music. If, if we do that, and we've spent a lot of time, I think looking for that balance and that, that, that reciprocity between uh, musicality and, and, and filmmaking. And, and I think many of, of, of our films, and films that we've all done in different ways, are, are very musical because there, there's, about, there's repetition, there's, there's a form, there's a, there's a theme, etc., etc. And I think you, you, some people, I'm sure some people here come from film, and I'm sure that some of your teachers tell you, you know, these are the structures, but the real structures of of filmmaking, the real structures of any art form, is music. You know, all art aspires to music. That's it, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not a musician, but I aspire to music.